Hello and welcome to Santon City. We are around about 12 minutes from Santon CBD itself in an 11.5 million rand home that boasts 4.5 bathrooms, four bedrooms and has a double car garage amongst so many other things like this pass through sunken lounge that we're looking at right now. So come with me as we tour this home, show you every single reason it should be your next property purchase. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. And through these beautiful double doors, we finally find ourselves within an 11 million home. And I have to admit, 11 million rand homes right here in the heart of Santa, and they've got so much special to talk about. And this entry hall is definitely one of them. Off to my left-hand side, we've got a lighting that is built into the flooring, highlighting the pot plants. We've got double volume ceilings, not only with a railway, but also with a window letting in a lot of natural light. On my right-hand side, you've got your half bathroom, as I did mention, four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. This half bathroom right Right here comes with your single vanity raised off in the corner as well as with a toilet and if we have to talk about what else is on this side of the house then we'll have to start right here with what is currently an office beautiful beautiful almost light almost white carpets cladding the whole of the office as well as the upstairs area we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get there but as you can see, this bedroom, or should I say room right now, is currently kitted out perfectly to situate an office. We've got a window built into the wall on the right hand side. Now this window almost resembles one of those Mercedes Benz car doors where we've got a skylight as well as a window, all of it with weatherproofing, aluminum plated. Open it up, you've got access to the outside area, you've got access to a nice fresh breeze, another window over there. And the reason why I say this works so well as a bedroom as well, a downstairs bedroom, a guest bedroom, is because it has its very own bathroom attached to it. Now this bathroom comes with two sinks, so your double vanity, massive mirror, lots and lots of fresh air and light, as well as a bathtub, and then decked out all in glass, your very own shower. So a very well-equipped bedroom and bathroom over there. And right over here, this room, without a doubt, serves to make a perfect sitting room. Up in the ceiling, we've got not only very nice down lighting, but these built-in speakers, creating an entertainer's paradise. Off to my left-hand side, one of the most interesting fireplaces we've ever shown on the Home Shopper Show, and that is a fireplace decked out all in mirror, mirror finish on the fireplace. I think it is a very, very cool centerpiece to talk about. And then we've got this huge window right over there and a sliding door that is a pocket sliding door. So all of it hides away into the wall, creating perfect indoor outdoor synergy because you've got an outside area that is second to none with some killer, killer features. I think you can take a peek of it, that sunken area just next to the pool that we'll talk about. But let's move right back in, take a look at the rest of what downstairs has to offer. We'll come out to this outdoor area and then we're gonna head up this staircase right over here. This beautiful clad staircase running all the way up to where the bedrooms are. So follow me. What's up next is your dining room area. And right over here, you have a showcase dining room area. And the reason why I say it's showcase is twofold. One, you've got walls on both sides, and then it is all enclosed with these glass doors, floor to ceiling. How incredible is this? So if you'd like privacy, if you'd like to have a conference here, maybe even a business meeting, this is almost exclusively perfect for you. But dining rooms, they're situated quite far in within a home, but right here, that is not the case because you've got another one of those huge skylights letting in so much natural light. And right now we can see an airplane flying right across. I think these are killer features, not enough homes in South Africa. We've got such beautiful weather, not enough homes come with these skylights letting you really enjoy the outdoors. And if we're talking about meals, you're gonna have to cook them somewhere. And this kitchen right here offers the perfect place, private, spacious and with some incredible lighting effects. The first one, if you'll notice, runs along the floor here, LED tube lighting all the way down, giving you a really nice glowing effect of these 
really luscious dark tiles. The dark tiles continue all the way up. And then on the ceiling, we've got these hanging lights illuminating all the different surfaces. So let's talk about what some of these appliance or surfaces are. Plenty of prep area. You've got your single sink, your chef sink, your prep sink. Excavator fan clad all in stainless steel. Got your stove top right there, as well as, and this is all Gaga now, so very, very exclusive, as well as just underneath here, you've got your Ketten Yaki grill built in. On my right hand side, even more prep area, close off area for any other storage that you want to stay away or stay out of sight. Behind there, coffee nook built in fridge. And then right in front of me, you've got not one, but two ovens, more space for a built in fridge ice dispenser, another one of these really cool roller doors. I love how clean it leaves everything. And then there are two features I think in this kitchen that take the cake. One, or how big these doors and windows are. You open it up and you get such a nice breeze coming from there. Also, if you're cooking, the smoke and everything can move in and out. But another one of the killer features right here is this over here. Your very own enclosed back side of the kitchen, your sous kitchen. You've got storage over here within your pantry and then a double sink wash area, single sink over there, even more windows and a door that accesses not only the back side of your house, but through this door, your double garage. Love how this house has been laid out. And that is the kitchen. Now with the kitchen done, another set of double doors leads you into your living area, a spacious living area. So spacious, in fact, you've got a tree right here in the corner, down lighting, high lighting. Also, you can see you can set the down lighting where you want it to be. So if you're an art fundi and you really love your wall artwork, if you put stuff up, you can actually have the lights highlighted. It's the first time we've seen that and it is a very, very cool feature and it lends quite a nice ambiance to this room. Over here, space for your TV, a little cut look and then behind me another rather cool feature of this home is your bar area so it's not just cool because you get to sit down drink and enjoy some TV with a couple of friends and maybe a couple of cold ones but you've got all of this built-in bar space area as well as undercount area with a plug point for a fridge and right over here is one of those pocket doors that lead out to your pool area so you can get light if you need it but if you don't and you're entertaining entertaining guests outside right over here is your area where you can lend out drinks, push out snacks, and you can be inside right close to a place that you need to, well, grab a cold one. And what better place to enjoy a cold one than out here on this wraparound balcony that is almost completely covered from the elements. We've got all this down lighting, running the rim of it, and then another really cool feature is on the ceiling, we've got those built-in speakers. To my left, a bra area, the pass-through area for your bar, and all the space for you to do whatever you wish. But my favorite feature is not only the amazing pool with the live edge, it's not this set of stairs walking down into the pool, it is this sunken lounge suite right over here with a window pass that you can actually take a look at what's going on in the pool while you sit here, enjoy some snacks, maybe put down a, a gas fireplace, warm up, and really just take in the fact that you might be living in Santon, but right now, it's quiet, it's peaceful, and this house is so exceptionally comforting. Now, if you decide to explore the back of the pool, you'll notice that live edge terminates into a beautiful wraparound pond, and then the rest of the grounds are incredibly well manicured. You've got tons and tons of space to explore, so much greenery and plant life that it feels like you really are sitting off somewhere in Limpopo, enjoying a resort. Very surprised I'm not seeing some monkeys swing from the trees, but no, you are, like I did mention, 12 to 15 minutes away from Sant and CBD. And now it's time to come back upstairs or inside and then upstairs, and you get to really take a look at just how beautiful this cream carpet is. And then we've got the continuation of the design element of this plant here. Inbuilt lighting really does lend a unique feel to this home. It's not often we see this, and another one of my favorites is the sunroof just above me, running the length of the opening, letting in a lot of natural light here, and making upstairs feel so much more airy and so much more spacious. So, we've got cupboard space here. Then we've also got an open display element right over here with windows on both sides. Again, letting in a lot of natural light. Beautiful stones outside there. Really feeling fancy, so you can use this to display whatever you want. Maybe some artwork, maybe some books have it become a reading nook 
And then the running the length of this patio is not only windows and cupboard space, but also the bedrooms. Three of the bedrooms, three of the four bedrooms are located upstairs. This one would be the smallest of the three located upstairs, but it is still a very, very spacious room. So much natural light coming through the sliding door that leads to a balcony that's shared across the three bedrooms. A huge, huge balcony, so much space. I really like what they've done with it. And then we've got inbuilt cupboards that are currently acting like your mirror as well. So mirrors on all the cupboards, all of the cupboards running on rails. We've got another one of those sunroofs, the sun with the blinder. So again, if you don't want to get woken up by the sun streaming through here, you've got a blinder built in. And then your bathroom is also en suite. So let's take a look at this bathroom. Then we're gonna take a walk out onto the balcony and take a look at the next two bedrooms. Now your bathroom is also a spacious affair. You've got a single vanity, plenty of under-counter storage, a walk-in shower, as well as a bathroom, so you know it is exceptionally well-equipped. Toilet off in the corner, another window looking out, and then plenty of under-counter storage. Then continuing along the passageway, we find ourselves in the next bedroom. This one, substantially larger than the one we've just taken a look at and incredibly well equipped. Not only does it come with a lot of room for the main bedroom area, but off to the right hand side, you've also got almost like a patio that is fully enclosed. Glass all on one wall and makes a perfect workout area or even an upstairs office area allowing you to look out and really enjoy the greenery that your garden off offers. Then moving off towards the ensuite bathroom, we find ourselves going through a passageway that includes one of those famous sunroofs but then on the left and right clad in mirrors are your walk through cupboards. Coming to the bathroom itself, you've got under counter storage, single vanity, massive shower on the left hand side, bathtub on the right hand side, and so many windows letting that sunlight pouring in. Now with two bedrooms done, we are left only with this outside balcony area as well as the creme de la creme, the master suite. But this balcony area is unusual in a few different aspects. One, it is incredibly large, running all the way down to the back area. But two, it doesn't have any railings. Instead, for safety, it provides this large, almost blocked off area. And I really, really like the feel of it. It feels so much more open, it feels so much more airy. And also, it allows you to enjoy the view of this incredibly lush green garden. So, very, very cool design choice here. Obviously, so much space. If you'd like to install some railings, you most certainly can do so. But I love it. I love being able to see that pool. I love being able to enjoy that garden. And we walk past that window we could see when we came through the double doors right at the start of this video. And here we are in the master suite, the creme de la creme, speakers built into the roof, beautiful down lighting, your very own fireplace with a marble hearth and a continuation of this stunning green carpet. Off to my left hand side, the doors that shut us out from the outside area are pocket doors. So again, they disappear and it really does give you such a nice sense of quiet and peace. Aircon installed, so much space, they managed to fit in a couch and then you've got a floor to almost ceiling, just off the ceiling square window, looking out again onto that stunning garden. But as I did mention, every single home that has a master suite within this price range has to have other cool features. One of them is throughout the home, you've got underfloor heating and then through this tinted glass door, we find ourselves in one of these, uh, or, or a continuation, should I say, a continuation of how the walk-in closets in this home have been done. And then we come into the master suite. From this wall all the way to this wall, you've got mirrors, so it makes this place feel so large. You've got a raised bathtub with beautiful inbuilt gold faucets, a window there that again continues the style we saw downstairs, leading into another skylight. Mirrors donning the undercounter storage, Stunning marble, not only here, but also where the bathtub is, double vanity. Behind me, we've got a shower right over here, again enclosed in glass. And then your toilet is right over here, with some tinting for privacy, as well as a bidet, so you know you're gonna be living in the lap of luxury. But that is it for this home, this incredible home right here in Santon. What I think we're gonna do now is let's head downstairs and say goodbye. 
And there we have it, folks. We've come to the end of this incredible tour of this four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, 11.5 million rand home right here in the heart of Santon. This home is for sale by the owner. So contact her right now if you feel like this is gonna be your next family home. An incredible home it is at that. All of the details will be on screen right now as well as in the description of the video. If you'd like to watch another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show, catch us on YouTube or Facebook. We air every Monday Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. If you'd like to find a home like this one behind me, a little bit more modest, a little bit smaller, or absolutely extraordinary, find us on privateproperty.co.za. We also have an app on the Google Play Store, as well as the Apple App Store. We cater for every single listing across the country, regardless of your needs. So be sure to download that app and find your next home today. Or if you'd like to see more of me, catch me on Instagram at Mr. Viveros. We will see you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you and goodbye.